it would appear Bandai has done the unthinkable. And for the record, this is a really good thing. And also for the record, I never make videos on Saturdays. If I upload something on a Saturday, it is of earth-shattering importance. More important than Jesus resurrecting as the prophets foretell. Like that kind of importance. Bandai has announced the new wave of regionals for the Digimon card game. But with a twist, instead of all being online, they have decided to let some in-person regionals happen. That's right. Poggers Bandai. I'm going to go over the website real quick to talk about what exactly is happening and you know what I'm even talking about in the first place. Some of you, by the time this video is uploaded, still might not know what I'm talking about, and that's okay. Well, I have you here real quick. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below before I go into the meat and potatoes of the video. Like the video, subscribe to notification bell on the Smash Potatoes. That way you know when all these videos go live. And I am really curious to hear what you guys are thinking about this because I think this is a step in the right direction. So 2022 regionals with new event cards and everything. We'll go over those in a second. Uh, you have to be a resident of the area. A resident living in the region is really interesting. Like, I can't just fly over to Europe and partake in one of the in-person ones, right? I have to actually live in Europe, which is interesting. Um, so that's cool. Prizes can change. Prizing amounts can differ. Final championships are for North America only. Yep. Yeah. Again. Okay. Final championships outside of North America Open Finals. Yep. And prizing should be needs to be announced. Yeah, I bet they are. All right. So we have Top Cut June 4th. Cool. Uh, we have the June 8th to June 12th. This is the whole freaking con, though. This is PPG Origins Game Fest. Uh, so the actual event will probably be the 11th or the 12th to be announced. We'll find out when we find out. Um, what's really interesting here is uh, they, gave us an and they, they gave us an address. So what I'm assuming is the ones with no address are online and the ones with an address are uh, in person. Now, maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised and they're all in person. <laughs> But I doubt, I doubt that's the case. So uh, for now, we assume that the ones with addresses are in person and the ones that with no addresses, I'm talking terribly, Jesus. The ones with no addresses are online, so that's fine. Uh, the PPG Too Many Games Convention, June 24th, 26th, is again in person, it looks like. Greater Philadelphia Expo Center. Not bad, not bad. And then we have Core TCG, June 11th, and we have Carta Magica, May 29th. Five regionals five of them these uh this one and this one are the same weekend which is super interesting uh but yeah ppg gets to run two in-person events while carta core and top cut get to run one online each i guess that's kind of fair and then europe has some which is good oceana has a couple yep latin america has just an online one uh, rip latin america i guess uh, participation pricing is kind of all right event pack two yeah okay yep Top 128 gets another event pack. Man, they're really slim with the prizing this time around. That's really interesting. I feel like last regionals, they were giving out a lot of stuff. But I could I could be wrong. I, this was a while ago. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, and then it just gets better, 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 better. Top 2. The difference between champion and top 2 is very, very quite apparent. So that's cool. Um, cards, content, stuff, things, regionals, sleeves, that case, Matt. I wonder what the new cards are. What are the what are the participation cards? Well, that's really cool. New Devi's a good one. Uh, Ape Mon, uh, Apes together is strong. Rookie Rush will love that. Pokemon's huge. V Mon's huge. Holy moly! And if you love Machine Dramon, you're gonna love these ones. Wow. Three of these are really good. Ape Mon is just fun, and uh, Mega Dramon, Indramon for the Machine Dramon hype is pretty poggers. Power Saruman? I have no idea what that is. Let's not worry about it. That's pretty cool. I assume that the finalist set's the same, only with the final stamp. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Online regionals. Ah, this, these. Oh, they're reprinting these ones. What? Crazy. No, they're not. They are. Huh. Wow. Rip the value of these cards. Holy shit. Okay, that's that's done. And uh, yeah. A nice map yeah well, that's pretty cool i'm really really impressed by this all right let's go back to face cam here and this is just the first wave right which is what's really exciting they're giving us five regionals to work with in north america three of them are online and two of them are in person pennsylvania i think and columbus all reasonable locations and driving distance from me which is even better personal stake aside i am 
quite thrilled that Bandai is giving the community a chance to experience regionals in both platforms. However, when it comes to the online ones, we don't know if they'll be capped, if they'll sell out in 30 seconds, what the, anything, anything like that. You know what I mean? That's still a lot of unknown information and it's probably not going to change and that's probably going to be the exact same and people will be upset because people can't go to the in-person ones and then they will miss the signups for the online ones and there'll be some salt. And we'll address that salt when we get there. However, this is a huge step in the right direction for Bandai. They are allowing regionals to take place in person, which is huge. They just need to announce more regionals, if you ask my opinion. Currently, PPG is the only entity doing the in-person regionals, which is cool for PPG. And uh, shout out to PPG for doing an amazing job with that. However, leaving it all in one basket is typically not the best idea in the world. You know what happens if you leave all your eggs in one basket? Well, they're going to get fucking smashed as soon as someone takes the basket and runs with it, right? just the eggs are fucking gone and if anything like that happens to ppg well <laughs> we're just fucked right uh not to mention that you know you can't go to every event right i saw a post on facebook where someone was you know not complaining per se but made a comment that you know they live in florida how are they supposed to get to columbus or uh, pennsylvania for these regionals you know what i mean but this was mitigated by the fact that they have online regionals instead, so that person can, you know, do online regionals. And it wasn't the first time I saw that complaint either. I saw that several, several times as the day progressed, like more and more people saying like, okay, great, but what about our Florida events? Or what about California or stuff like, you know what I mean? Uh, that's just kind of what's going on with that. And they're only one day events, which is actually huge. I don't know if you guys realize this, but having a one day event means that it's one day less that people have to book off work, one day less to travel, one day less to spend expenses, you know, just to go to a tournament. That's actually really huge. Uh, and regionals should be only one day any, which is great, like what most card games have. So I'm really excited to actually see that because I can go to both these regionals and not spend an absolute shitload of money. I won't have to be like a Donald Trump in order to afford to go to all these events. Plus the Denver one, that's still in the middle of those two regionals. And, you know, I don't know if I'm going to Denver or not. That's kind of an aside. But, you know, we're not talking about that today. Now, let's talk about what the next steps could be for Bandai. You know, now that we have five regionals, three of them are online, two are in person. How could Bandai take this and move on with this? The natural next progression is to obviously have more regionals. If you guys are Yu-Gi-Oh! players, you'll remember when, uh, before COVID... Regionals were every single weekend, some Saturday, some Sunday, and all over the place. Like, you could bring up the Yu-Gi-Oh! card website, and you could find our regionals every weekend in all sorts of different areas in the States, sometimes even Canada, eh? And that was really freaking cool. I think that Bandai needs to get to that point. The player base might not be big enough for that yet, but, you know, you can have more than two in-person regionals, in my opinion. I don't think that that's necessarily gonna be a bad thing and you can also offer more online regionals too it's not a bad thing you know as long as they're not ridiculously capped sold out in seconds i don't think it's a bad thing uh what i actually really like that bandai did in this case you saw this when we were going over the events but they gave us an in-person regional and online regional the very same weekend that means that you could theoretically do one or the other you probably can't do both but you can do one or the other. You can pick, do you want a webcam virtual experience or do you want an in-person experience? That's really freaking cool that Bandai let that happen. It'll be really interesting to see who flocks towards what, right? You know, who goes where? Who wants to spend the money to go in person versus the people that get into the online signups? That's actually really cool that Bandai gave us that choice. Now, Bandai could capitalize on that, continue to make good choices where giving us multiple online regionals a day. But, you know, this is a very good step in the right direction. The fact that they did that and allowed that to happen, that's freaking huge. Like, something else I'm not going to mention. In the and hopefully, Bandai announces more and more regionals. Hopefully, they announce more Ultimate Cups. And hopefully, they allow a more in-person spread to exist. More than two. I think two is a little low, but honestly, it's better than zero, so I'm not really complaining about it. I think that they have the ability to do more, and this is just like the trial run. I'd be really surprised if they didn't increase this in the next round, whenever they announce the next round, you know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised if more Ultimate Cups are announced, you know, because we know more are coming, but that some are actually in person. That wouldn't surprise me either. 
And I think that they're going to give us a couple in person. Just a feeling. And hopefully this gives us the epic climax. The glorious feeling good moment. That a climax gives us. Which in Digimon sense would be an in-person nationals. Because let me tell you. I was in no rush to play a webcam nationals. That's like cheater galore potentially. I don't need people adding transcendent swords to their security. You know what I mean? It's a lot easier to catch that in person than it is on a webcam. And I just don't want to deal with all that. So if Bandai can figure their stuff out and make it so that we have an in-person nationals, which I think this is what it's going to, that would be probably the best end result, to be honest. All right, I've been talking for a while now, so now I'm going to pose it over to you guys. What do you guys think about this nice little spread, in-person regionals and online regionals? Let me know in the comments section. Let me hear your thoughts. I'm really, really excited to see what Bandai is up to. I think a lot of you guys will be a lot open and more receptive to this. I think that this is definitely a win for Bandai and a very big W for the Digimon community. Hopefully you guys agree with me. Let me know.